What's going on YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today we're going to do a mini review of Season 4 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. I played this season for the first time uh, this past week and I had a lot of fun. So I'm going to give you my particular thoughts on the meta of the game, whether or not it's worth it for you to play this far into Season 4. And I'm going to tell you what I think needs to happen during Season 5 because there's a couple issues that I would love to see this game resolve before that hits. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button. It does help me get noticed and it will help support me. Also, please hit the subscribe button as it does help my channel grow. In the background, I have playing some season four gameplay from the past couple of days. We had a couple of good games, so you'll be checking that out. Thank you for your support and let's get started with the mini review of season four of Warzone. Let's go. So there's a couple questions I'm going to ask in this video, but question one is very simple. Is season four of Warzone any good? And the short answer is yes, to me at least. I think Warzone now is better than it has ever been. There are a few things that Infinity Ward still needs to improve on, and we're going to touch base on these. But overall, I've been having a blast since picking up the game for the first time this past week. At least first time in season four. So, breaking down a little bit as to why I stopped playing Warzone around the midpoint of Season 3. And, frankly, I think I just got burnt out from playing so much during the launch into the second and third season that when Season 4 came around, I really just didn't care to pick it up again. I really only went back to it because I started watching more COD Twitch streams and YouTube videos, and the tournaments looked like a lot of fun. It seemed like... A lot of my issues with Season 3 meta were resolved and maybe updates I didn't realize happened. There are still a few things with the meta that are issue- <coughs> Bruin. That's- I just died by Bruin. Same gun. Yep. He killed me in 16 bullets, spraying from the roof across the entire zone. But other than that, I think the meta right now is better than it ever has been. However, like I just said, the Bruin needs to be nerfed a little bit in my opinion. This Bruin is an absolute laser and a war machine to be reckoned with. This thing can laser people across the map within a, within a few bullets and has zero recoil. I'm pretty sure Infinity Ward already knows this and the nerf will be on the way. But other than that, I think the weapons are great. Now more than ever, I find that I can use basically any gun I want in a custom class. Previous seasons really were locked down to the M4 or the Grau, in my opinion, or maybe the MP5 or MP7. But now I can use other guns such as the Bruin, the Fal. I can still use the MP7, the MP5, Grau, M4. I can use multiple snipers. I can roll different ARs if I wanted to now. I could use the new Fennec or the CR56 if I wanted to. All these guns make the game really easy to pick up for first timers. And I think that that is great. And because the game is so approachable, I think new players can also get into it, but we'll touch on that briefly in a little bit. Some of the problems that I don't really notice anymore is the RPG missile battery. Honestly, when Warzone first launched and within the first few weeks, it kind of felt like everyone had an RPG on their back to the point where teams would just spam RPGs at you endgame and it was really unfun to play. And to be honest, other than one instance, I think I only encountered an RPG that one time this past week. I think there's still a little bit of an issue with vehicles in the game. I think people driving them maybe a little bit too much. I wish ARs could neutralize them a little bit faster, but I think I understand this and I think it's in the okay spot right now. So revisiting the question I just proposed, is season four of Warzone good? Yes, and is a great game, it's a lot of fun. Yep. And I think the Twitch and YouTube numbers really show this. A lot of people are really into it right now and they're really digging it. So my second question is, is it worth me playing Warzone now, even though we are so late into Season 4? And this question really pertains to those that maybe played Warzone at launch and want to come back. And I think the answer is absolutely. Like we just said, this new Season 4 weapons are fun to use, and there's also so many different guns you can use that it makes the game super approachable and easy to pick up. Also, if you're returning for the first time since launch, or at least near launch, the floor loot weapons have improved immensely since then. There's so many different guns on the ground now that are actually usable. You're not going to get a white scar or a white M13 like you used to. And this makes the pace of the game way quicker in my opinion to the point where you know you're probably going to get something at least decent on the ground. 
and you can actually engage someone and fight them early game rather than having to loot money to get your loadout and then fighting people. So in addition to these weapon changes, there's also still over two weeks left in this season and there's a double XP weekend this weekend. So you'll be able to upgrade your guns if you are getting the new guns. You also, you also have more than enough time to level up the battle pass if you want to get the level 15 and 31 guns. And I think that is more than doable in two weeks even for the most casual players. And finally, if you are a returning player, you'll notice that the map hasn't really changed that much, which could be a positive or a negative. But in this instance, we're going to say it is a positive because you'll remember the map, how it used to play. It flows the same as it did, and this is definitely good if you're trying to get back into the game. So overall, I say pick up the game again and give it a try if you're a returning player. My third question is, can I get into Warzone if I've never played before? The answer isn't quite as clear in my opinion. I did play with two friends this past week and it was both their first time and they did say they enjoyed it and they're going to have a fun time learning the map and the guns and that kind of thing. However, if you're not mechanically that good at shooter games, you might have a brutal time in this, I'm not going to lie. That being said, I'm pretty sure skill-based matchmaking exists in Warzone and that should help you out if you're a new player or if you're not quite as good with mechanical skills. And also, there's a really good chance that if you are trying Warzone for the first time, you don't own regular Modern Warfare. And because of this, you're not really going to be able to level up your guns and get loadout and get custom loadouts efficiently, which could deter your experience a little bit because honestly, pretty much everyone goes straight for their custom loadout in a game. And if you don't have this, you could struggle. That being said, of course, the weapons on the floor are much better than they used to be, so you can still at least compete. But overall, if you don't take it too serious and you're okay with just having a fun time here and there, I would definitely give it a try. It's a lot of fun and who knows, maybe it'll promote you to get the full Modern Warfare game and level up some guns and that kind of thing. So moving into the very end of my review here, guys, I just want to talk about a couple of things that I am still disappointed in with Warzone. And honestly, the biggest thing to me is the map. The buildings, in my opinion, are still way too similar and there hasn't been any map changes really since the launch of the game back in march and i really just wish they would adjust the map a little bit so it adds a little bit more variety and freshness to the map and the experience of warzone i was really excited when there was a lot of those rumors about the dam getting alternate ways to get up the dam or maybe the dam exploding and changing the map i think everyone's creativity and expectations might have been a little bit too high for this and it just hasn't come out even though this has been rumored for such a long time however i'm still hopeful that maybe in season five we'll have some map changes i think infinity ward knows the community wants this and i don't know if i should keep my expectations there but i am having high hopes with limited expectations so that is basically it overall i'd say give warzone a try for first timers returners and everyone else if you enjoy shooters i think you'll enjoy this game the game has been through a lot of polish since it first launched, and the game is really thriving now. And like I said earlier, the Twitch and YouTube numbers reflect this. One thing that remains to be seen, though, is how Warzone is going to integrate with this year's new Call of Duty game. You know, every year Call of Duty comes out in a new game, and the previous game usually gets abandoned. I don't know if this is going to be the case for Modern Warfare. I honestly think for the first time ever, we might be in a new situation where we're going to see some sort of aspect of a Call of Duty game from the previous year carry over into the next year. I don't know how they're going to do it. My thought is maybe they're going to add a new map that Treyarch monitors and at the same time you'll have all their guns on that new map. Who knows? I'm super excited for it. Can't wait. Stay tuned. We should be hearing something soon. I mean, we're like two months later than we have ever been for a Call of Duty reveal. So we should definitely hear something really soon. That being said, Warzone, I think, is here to stay. So jump right in and have a good time. Again, please like the video if this was informative to you. If you liked the content, subscribe to the channel if you want some more content. I'm still learning so much about YouTube. So if you have any comments on my video, if something I can improve on or something you want to see, drop a comment below. Also, drop a comment and tell me what you want from Season 5 the most. For me, I really want a map change. I hope it comes. We'll see. So have a great day gamers, enjoy the rest of the video, and stay frosty.
Coming, actual. Send that recon. This is Falcon 3 0. Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. Got two left. 